Watching KPRC2, Houston's home for news. We're back at 6 o'clock with a story that's playing out in the Texas legislature over in Austin. We're keeping track of many of the proposed bills that are being considered by lawmakers right now, and one of them could change how crimes against children are prosecuted. KPRC2's Rochelle Turner is live tonight, and Rochelle, you spoke with the woman who inspired House Bill 2071. Chris, good evening. House Bill 2071 would get rid of the statute limitations for rape and sexual assault victims. The woman that you're about to meet had to experience something that no one should ever have to go through. She says rape victims should be able to come forward when they are ready, knowing the law is going to protect them. And it is time that the truth be told and I be set free. For the first time in 20 years, this wife and mother of two is sharing what happened to her when she was just a little girl. Her name is Rhonda. When I was 14, I began to be abused. I made the initial outcry to my mother. She ignored the outcry. Rhonda says the abuse continued for several years. When I was finally in a position to be able to break away, I had to process what had happened. Earlier this year, she finally had the strength and courage to come forward. She filed a report with police only to learn the crimes that happened to her were out of statute. I have my proof, I have what I need, but I don't have any rights. And it, sh it shouldn't matter when it happened. Attorney Joe Schreiber represents Rhonda and says the statute of limitations changed over the years. The statute of limitations in a civil suit for aggravated sexual assault and aggravated rape of a child was changed in 2019 to go from 15 years to a 30 year statute of limitations. State Representative Ann Johnson, who represents District 134, is fighting for victim rights and working to pass House Bill 2071. So our bill tracks what is happening in the criminal code, which says if you're a victim of child abuse, that there's an unlimited statute of limitations. And we want that to apply to the civil court as well. Rhonda says so many others are victims and this bill would bring them justice. We just have to get that bill to the floor and get it passed into law. House Bill 2071 is pending in the committee right now. Representative Ann Johnson is waiting on a hearing so many of these victims can share their story. She is encouraging everyone to reach out to their local representatives to share awareness about House Bill 2071. For now, reporting live, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Rochelle, thank you.